Hi y'all, it is Regina from Marsh Knitting 101. Welcome in my yarning and crafty friends. Welcome in my new family members and returning family members. I see y'all are having a wonderful and blessed day. I'm trying to fix my, fix my hair. I had my hat on on my other video, so. So if you've seen this video, you'll see me in the same outfit probably two or three times. Um, I'm recording this video on the 15th of January, just Monday. It is super duper cold out. Um, so hopefully y'all are staying warm and have your nice piping warm coffee, hot chocolate, tea, apple cider, whatever you're drinking beside you. And you got your cozy clothes on and it's bundled up in the cold days. <laughs> it's cold here in West Virginia. It's like like 10 or 11 degrees. I don't think that's counting the wind chill factor. So yeah, it's kind of cold. Um, and my dog is back here cleaning his toys, so I apologize if you hear loud thumpy noise because he takes his bone and throws it on the floor. And I have wooden floors, so it, it makes an awful noise. Um, but anyways, gotta love them. Um, also, what is your weather in your neck of the woods? Leave me a comment down below. What are y'all currently working on? Um, and so what are you currently drinking? I'm a little rusty. I'll, I'll get back in this morning. I'm trying to at least post a video here. I do do a lot of pictures on Instagram. I do, I try to post stuff on my community tab every once in a while if you guys can go over there and check that out. Um, other than that, and I did sign up for a TikTok account, but I don't know, this more is video, so I'm not sure about that. I'll get to that later on. Um, so this video is, I, a friend yarned me, yarned, yarned me some yarn. So I'm going to show you guys the video and it's so sweet of her and I appreciate it. Um, mm -hmm. sorry, there is my phone. Look, there's butters. Look, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're not playing with me? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this yarn. So, here is, and hopefully, the colors. I don't have my light, my lights on today. I'm just in my child's bedroom since she went back to college. I got this is Mainstays, this is the Walmart brand yarn, and it is right up the alley for Valentine's Day. It is pink and purples, mm -hmm. so that's really cute. I'm liking that. So I got one, and then ooh, look at this big old jumbo red heart. This is green, so I got a green, and then she gave me a red. So now I can start working on Christmas stuff this year, which I really didn't get to do anything. I just don't, I don't know where the time went to. It's just been so busy. And I got a big old yellow one. And then the unknown one. So it's like a light green, like a pale green. I'm sure that's probably like a baby yarn. But it's really cute. That's a big old one. And then I got another one of these. And then another one, which is really awesome because I just downloaded um, these cute little ear warmers. Um, if you, I don't know, she still has them on sale. Um, let me go real quick and see if I can find her on my library. But it's the one I usually I test pattern tested her pattern for her spooky ear warmers. I love them. There's just once you get that pattern down you can fly through that stuff my phone's going off crazy over here but i need to go to my library my library my library okay they candy heart ear warmers and do -do 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 -do. there's a super cute why is my phone being slow? This is why I don't record on my phone anymore. Or my computer is like probably 2008, 13 probably. But anyways, before it probably, it'll open. But this is what they look like. Cozy candy heart ear warmers. No, I have. Why is it being so stubborn? Okay, it is um, by Rosie Posey Knit Company. Stephanie. 
that is the lady if you need to develop her app. So if you need something for your children's, like, Valentine's Day. I mean, I know it might not be for the boys, but, you know. You can make, like, just black ones. Put some, you know, <laughs> little skulls or something. I don't know. Maybe some parents might not like that. But anyways, that is that. So this will work perfect for that. So yay. So we got them. And then I got two skeins of the Red Heart Bulky, which is in a cream color, which is awesome because I like my bulky. And I do have a couple hats I want to start working on. And then this is super cute. Stitch in Studio. It's called Sunrise. It's supposed to be a five bulky, but I don't think it's a five bulky. But it's really pretty. It's like some peaches. Is it showing up? It's very cute. So I got two of these. And these are how many yards are in these things? Oh, 551 yards. So like I could like really make do something pretty with this. So two of them. And like I said, I got a couple of these. Two more of these of the main stage, the purple colors. And then this Christmas Red Heart Super Saver, which, like Christmas, you know, might as well start making Christmas stuff if I didn't make anything this year or last year. So I got two of them. And this just reminds me of Halloween. And I got some really cute Halloween patterns that I bought last year, but I didn't get time to make them. And I bought the cutest book ever. It's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, I got it for Christmas. Well, we went to Barnes & Noble, but I'll do another video on that. We went to Barnes & Noble, and my husband's seen it, and he's like, do you want it? I'm like, I'm not paying $40 for it. It was $40. Dollars. So, um, I got an alert that it went on sale. I got it for 20 bucks. Plus, I had a gift card for Barnes & Noble for $10, so I only had to pay $10 plus shipping and handling, so I had to pay $17, so it's really cute. But I got this, and then I got some more green, and some more of this purple. I'm purple. My yarn keeps falling off the bed. And then there's this Red Heart Super Savior, which just works out. I'm going to try, if you guys are watching this video and watch the previous video or the previous actual video, the next video or whatever video it is, I have been working on a cardinal hat and I'm working out of white yarn, so I might try this color. So that worked out pretty good. I haven't went to Walmart yet. And, oh, I love this one. This one is so pretty. I love the colors on this. So pretty. This is Red Heart. Um, it's called Parrot Stripes. It's a very, very, very pink and bold. Oh, I got a couple more of these. I didn't know I got I could maybe four of these. So I would like to knit one of these days I'll learn to crochet I, I haven't did that since the week after Christmas um because I haven't had time but I can do a chain and a single and I'm working on the double so I'm getting there but I want to knit me a tree scarf or crochet like let me find someone or see if my mom will crochet me a tree scarf because I seen a really cute one in Mary Maxim, and it reminded me of the chat, like the one that I had when I was growing up. And it was kind of like these colors. So I thought maybe I could try to replicate it, replicate whatever that word is, to knitting. So that's what I kind of like to be able to do. That's my future, future, future crochet pattern design. If somebody wants to help me figure out where I can get a cute, even a knitting one, tree start. Skirt, skirt, 
And then I got another yellow, which when I see this, I think of little ducks for Easter. Little duckies. Okay, so there's that. And then down here, we got some sparkly green. I got two balls of that. Some, I know this is Red Heart. I just can't remember this. I just gave this away just today. And then I got some pinks. And then Christmas glitter. Some red. I'm assuming this is what this is. Because I got some more of a sparkly red. Um, some pink and peach. This is just the yarn. You know, the bottom of it. See? And then I got a whole skein of this. Um, and some sparkly white. I'm getting covered in yarn. And then another sparkly green. So I have some stuff to work potentials for Christmas. And it's just little odds and ends of the white and the red. So, got a lot of red and then some white. So that will work. I have to organize that myself. But I'm assuming this is probably the same thing as these. So these are, these are from Ames. Wow. These ones are really old. So these are like vintage little Christmas, it says Christmas glitter. It's a Karen. Okay. It's a four ply and it was 90 cents for, oh, wait, free tree skirt crochet instruction on the back of this label. Pattern requires seven balls of Christmas glitter and three balls of your choice of red and green and white. <gasps> Look at that! I found a pattern! I didn't even see that! So now comes the fun part. How that will be my try to be my goal is to make that. I think that almost looks like it. Ooh, that's so amazing. Woohoo! I'm happy. That's exciting. I guess that's more innovation to learn to crochet. I got hopefully enough. If not, I can end up with some other, you know. I got plenty of green. I'm assuming maybe that's what she was trying to do. Um, so yeah, that is all of my lovely yarn goodness. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. Um, yay. So I'm excited. I did not know that pattern was there. I don't want to take it off because I'm afraid I'll lose it. So I'm going to leave it on there. But that's awesome. So, but still, if anyone finds one that's simpler and easier for a very beginning crocheter, or if, even a knitter, I'm pretty good at knitting. I mean, that's the only thing I know how to do. I do know how to sew. I'm getting better at sewing. I haven't learned to use my sewing machine yet. That's a future thing, too. I kind of want to do that. Yeah, there's all those kinds. Like, once you start one, like, craft, you want to do, like, once you get, like, I'm like, all right, I'm okay at knitting. I want to learn to crochet, and then you see people sewing, which I used to, like, back in the day, so, we used to make shirts and stuff back in the day when we was in middle school, so we didn't have home ec, but we actually, you know, back in the day, we always thought we was going to be somewhere, <laughs> be famous, um, fashion designer, you know, back in the day, <laughs> but we made cute little shirts and stuff, but now I'm like, all right, let's see if I can remember how to sew, because I don't think they teach home ec. Home ec anymore. I remember we did that in middle school. I loved it. Because it taught you how to do a checking book, which I don't know who uses checking checking books anymore. Um, ledgers. Checking ledgers. I think that's what it's called. But it helps you do your taxes, which now, you know, everything's online. But still, helps you cook. But, yay! So, hopefully you all enjoyed all that wonderful yarn. That is a bunch of yarn. Now, I gotta find a place to stick it. As I told my husband, I was de stashing instead of stashing. So, but I do sell some on whatnot. Um, if y'all want to go check that out, I'll leave my link in the description box below. I haven't did a show since Christmas, well, December. It's just been so busy. And, the, you know, with the kid home from college, I kind of just spent time with her. And I was there when January came back and she went on back to school. You know, I took my tree down, but it ended up in here because I didn't want to take it out to the garage because I need to find 
a tote to put it in because it's just too bulky. The bag, the Christmas tree bags you get, mine rips all the time. I don't know why. Um, so yeah. And then her tree's over here. So I'm in the, tr the forest, as I call it, with the lizard. <laughs> but yeah, I will let y'all go because I'm just rambling off onto a whole other subject. There's nothing that has to do with Dylan. But so hopefully y'all stay warm and dry. And if you don't, if you gotta go out, be safe. So until next time, y'all have a wonderful and blessed day and rough yarn. And be safe. Bye. I gotta figure out where the button is. Bye.